What's up, WSPL? I've got another Wi-Fi battle for you. This kid's name is Andre, and sorry again for the shitty video quality. i got to figure out how to make this better, but he is bringing, uh, is that Superior, Levani, Greninja, uh, Gliger, Tyrantrum, and Lucario, and my team is Salamance, Togekiss, Vaporeon, Crocodile, Tyranitar, and that Diggersby, though. So, let's get this battle underway. I figure with the way his team's loaded up, my best chance is to lead off with Salamance, steal some damage heavy on, and get going, because he's got some fast pokes that really have me worried, especially that Greninja. You never know what a fucking Greninja can do. So I lead off with Salamance, and he's lead off with Lucario. I win on the speed, even if he goes Mega, so this motherfucker's going to take an Earthquake and die. So he pops that Mega Stone. Go figure. See if he has the extreme speed. Does he? Nope, no extreme speed. Earthquake popped like a balloon. And he's gone, so that's a, it's a possible threat that's out of the way. I don't know why he just didn't withdraw into something that could take the hit, like, you know, Gliger or something. At least he's immune to Earthquake, but maybe he didn't think I'd have an Earthquake. Who knows? But then out comes Greninja, and Greninja's too fast for me. I, I don't want to take that Ice Beam. And who knows what this thing is. It could be Life Orb, it could be Scarfed, it could have Focus Sash. So I go out to Togekiss thinking I could take a special hit, but I really should have gone out and like, Vaporeon. I'm an idiot, but whatever. I eat up that ice beam, and then I notice, wait a minute, no protein. What's this guy on? What's he doing? What's he doing with life? So I'm just going to go for the thunder wave, knowing I can take an ice beam and then roost. But then he crits. And it's like, okay, fine, crit. You're still paralyzed. So suck a fat one. So he's paralyzed. I get my lefties. A little bit of health back. I'm thinking here, what is the best play I can do? It's a roost, gonna get rid of that fly, so I'm straight fairy, and then that that next ice beam that's coming, because you know that's what he's gonna do, is, is gonna do nothing. I'm just, it's like frost. It's I'm wiping my eyes in a snowstorm here. I just gotta get the ice off. So now I'm at a decent amount of health, and I'm thinking, uh, I'm not sure what I should do here. Uh, probably go for a Moonblast, since he's not protein. But then he goes out to Gliger, and it's like, okay, fine, well, let's see what this Gliger is gonna do. Maybe it's Eviolite. That does half. So I was like, alright. I can kill this thing another hit. So I'm going to go for an air, fl air slash just in case. Maybe I can get a flinch or I can kill. Let's see what happens. Bam. Dead. Super Togekiss. I really want to give this guy a nickname. He's earned his weight in gold. And like Fluffy or something. Fluffy's death. Awesome. And out comes Tarantrum. And I was like, I was giddy at this point. And I was like, fuck it. Moonblast. But Head Smash is the thing, and Tyrantrum. I forgot how fast Tyrantrum is. I haven't actually, I haven't made a competitive one yet. I need to, because it looks like it'd be awesome. So, out goes my Togekiss, and this guy really showed me the huge flaw on my team, and I could, really could have used Togekiss later, and I'm an idiot, but whatever. Salamander's going to come in. Dragon, or Dragon Claw's going to take out Tyrantrum. No biggie. Moxie Boost, good go. Solid. Love Moxie Mans. He's so dangerous. He's insanely dangerous. And out comes Levani, and I was a little worried here. I was like, am I faster than this thing? Because I know this thing's fast. I was like, fuck it. What can it do to me? Dragon Claw, plus one Dragon Claw dead. Now I'm at plus two. That's awesome. Plus two Moxie Mans. Ugh. You know, taking life orb damage. And he brings out Greninja again. And I'm thinking, alright, there's no life orb damage. Maybe he's. Folk sashed. I can't run that risk and take an ice beam and, and lose my salamance. So I come out in a T tar. You know, get the sand up, break the sash. So at least you know I can bring in salamance later or something and murder him. And he gets paralyzed, so that's cool. And then I do something dumb here. I go for a crunch. And I was and, and as I did that, I was like, fuck, rock slide's gonna do more damage. I'm an idiot. And he gets paralyzed again. And, you know, I, I'm looking back over this, because this is, you know, hindsight narration and whatnot. Oh, if I had only Dragon Danced on this Greninja. Because I got a weakness policy on him. So, you know, Dragon Dance boosts my speed. Weakness policy goes off. My attack's at plus three. I'm at plus one speed. I'm pretty fast. You know, good to go. So, it's, ah, hindsight, whatever. Sandstorm takes him out after that rock slide, which is nice. And then comes Superior. And, you know, this thing's awesome. So he, he hits me with a Leaf Blade, I'm thinking, physical superior? Maybe. And, you know, he crits, of course. You know, fuck me sideways, right? 
you know, up goes the weakness policy, and I'm going to hit him with a rock slide. And this is where I was like, if only I had Dragon Danced on that Greninja. Look at that. Look at, oh, look at that. So close. Slivers. Slivers of health left. And it's just, ah, oh, it's annoying. And then out comes Crookedile, and I was like, all right, he's going to Leaf Blade me again. Sandstorm's going to take him out. No big deal. I can live a Leaf Blade. It's, it's nothing, you know. And then he's, oh, Giga Drain. Fuck, he's going to get all his health back, and he's going to kill my Crookedile. And at this point in time, I realize I've got four people weak to grass on this motherfucking team. Crookedile, Tyranitar, Vaporeon, and Diggersby. And I was like, shit. I could have really used Togekiss right now. Me, of course, completely forgetting about that I have Salamance, and he's also part flying, can resist the grass thing, but it's it's what it is. So at this point, I was just like, all right, Crookedile's Death Fodder. I'm going to bring in my Salamance and just deal damage. Dragon Claw, and it's going to take him down to red. He's going to do a Leaf Storm. It's going to do nothing. Well, it's going to do something, but mostly nothing. And then I'm just going to Dragon Claw him for the finish. Salamance all the way. Really stupid play on me earlier for letting Togekiss go down, but it is what it is. So that's my battle. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, we'll see you next time.